In this video, I'll introduce you to Xam Numeric Editor, one of the editor controls in NetAdvantage for WPF line of business. So very often, practically in pretty much every uh, line of business application, you require your users to provide numeric input. So very often you need such controls which allow you to, to validate, to format, um, and to specify um, the masks which are to be used when validating this input. The Xam Numeric Editor is one such control which allows you to specify a variety of different masks and settings to allow your users to uh, enter the appropriate value in the easiest possible way. So let's look at a, at a simple example here I've built using the Xam Numeric Editor. So let me first run it just to demonstrate the behavior at runtime and then we're going to take a look at how this is implemented in code. So I have four Xam Numeric editors set up here and they're, they're customized to set different formats of values to be entered. So this first one expects the user to enter a five digit value in front of the decimal point and a four digit value behind it. And I cannot enter any more values in front or behind the decimal point other than the constraints are specified. And also the Zen numeric editor only allows numeric values to be to be entered in these spaces. If we take a look at the second Xam numeric editor here, it's formatted to allow the user to enter a percentage value. So in this case, I cannot enter a three-digit value, and I can also use the spin buttons to adjust these without using the keyboard. If we take a look at the third Xam numeric editor, it's been customized to expect a phone number format from the user. And uh, you can modify this in any way to suit your scenario. For example, you can use, uh, you can remove these brackets, or you can you can add additional digits in front to add the country code. And you can also have uh, any number of digits before and after the dash. You can use different separators uh, for the dash and for these brackets here. So this is just one example of how the Zen numeric editor can be used not only for numeric values such as uh, in the top two uh, examples, but also for any input which takes digits. Also in the last, in the last example, um, I've just highlighted the ability of the uh, Xam numeric editor uh, to accept just a specified number of, number of values um, in, in general. And this would typically allow you uh, to restrict your user to only editing, to only uh, using the number of digits which a field um, is actually composed of. So let's take a look at how these four numeric editors are set up in order to reduce this behavior at runtime. So let's take a look at the first one here. And the property that you would use to uh, customize the mask is um, exactly the mask property of this control. In this case, it's set up to double 5.4. This means we'll have five digits in front of the decimal point and four digits afterwards. In the second case, uh, we specify a mask of a number, 0 to 100. This specifies the range of values we'll use and also rendering a percentage point right behind the value itself to indicate that this is actually a percentage value. We are enabling the spin buttons uh, using the spin button display mode property setting it to always to allow users to make um, changes to the value without using the keyboard. The next one, uh, the phone number, is set up with a mask showing um, uh, pound signs um, to denote digits. And you can see that the delimiters we're using and that will appear in the actual um, editing uh, when you're when you're editing the value are also specified in the mask. So you can easily change these as well. 
And taking a look at the cost center here, uh, we see that um, we can specify three digits to be shown by um, the three ends, which are input in this mask. Something else that's also important in a lot of business applications is themability. And all these being infragistic controls, they, they fully support all the different themes that ship with their product, so it's very easy to modify their appearance and to have them styled with the rest of your application. So hopefully this simple example shows you how the Xam Numeric Editor can be used in your applications and can help you uh, provide cues to your user and to allow them to edit the values uh, required in your applications in the easiest possible way. Infragistics. On the web at infragistics.com.